must love the Philippines so much for you to include the country in your tour. It was the fans made it happen. The fans just, you know, kind of kept tweeting me and messaging and making it possible and wanted me to be here. So it's, you know, awesome when you get that kind of demand and people want to see your show. And so I'm happy. I just want to stop at places I may never get to go. You know, this is somewhere I've always wanted to go and so I, I, I want to come here and visit. Nice of you to have regular contact with your fans. Yeah. It's always kind of against the whole social thing, but I think if you do it in moderation, anything's okay in moderation. You know, moderation. If, you, if you use it when you're working, and I turn it off when I go home, and I don't have it on my cell phone, so I'm not always on it. And if you're in your cell phone, you're not in the moment, you know, so I kind of just use it when I can fill people in. I was talking to my fans last night while I was trying to fall asleep because it was 6 a.m. here. And I you still suffering from jet lag? I'm actually really hyper. I don't know why I'm so <laughs> hyper today. I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like sleepwalking. It's like when you're past that point of tire. So it's just a we It's like we're all my friends are yet in yesterday. So yeah. I'm living in the future right now. So how did it feel uh, waking up this morning halfway around the world? It's Where nice to look out your window and see something yes. you're not used to. You know, because I got here late at night last night, so I couldn't really see. The city looks great, and and the you know the people are awesome, and and it's a pretty easy day. You know, I have kind of an easy schedule here, and have half the day off tomorrow. So hopefully, I just get to see the see the place. So what do you plan to do with the 24 hours? Go around shopping or what? I'm um I'm so well, I kind of just want to lay by the pool and hang out with my friends. It's nice that you know everyone I'm with I love so. Just hang out. My mom, of course, wants to go shopping, so who knows. You know any Filipino talent? Have you worked with any Filipino talent? And uh, what have you heard about the Philippines? I haven't, but I actually have um, two of my dancers. They actually oh, have a lot of family here. Performing with you in the concert. Yeah, they have family here, so I think oh, I think both of them are going to get to see family they've never even met because they've never been to the Philippines before. But um, both of their parents are right from timing. I think from Manila, and then yes. the rest of their family lives like you know two or three hours away. So they're going to yeah. get to see their family that they've never met, their cousins, their uncles. It's going to yes. be really awesome. So on my uh, teenagers uh, look up to you. The words of teen idol, how do you feel about it? I think of myself as I'm, I'm really lucky just to be able to that my, my voice matters, and a lot of teenagers don't think that they do. But you can't take yourself on as there's a difference between a, a role model and a, bit, and a parent. You can't take that on. You've got to know, you got to live your life, and the mistakes you're making, those kids, whether the parents <laughs> know or not, are doing the exact same thing, you know. So it's kind of nice to be able to connect. You know, that's what we all want is connection. So I think it's really great that you can. Experience that. I mean, just through Twitter, I can connect with a million people and, and feel loved in one second. You know, it's very rare that people like that. Any piece of advice for girls all around the world who want to follow in your footsteps? I think what I tell my sister is just wait it out, enjoy it, like perfect your craft. You know, if you want to be a singer, take lessons, enjoy it, do plays. Like, you know, do it before the business has a way of corrupting people and and kind of polluting their mind to where it's not about the art anymore. It's yeah. really only about who's on the cover of the newspaper and you know I'm really excited when I get to see that and that people want to read about my story but that's not what it's all about your your stories within your music so how does it feel growing up in the limelight I am um, I think the reason why it's been such an easy transition for me is because I've always grown up with my dad you know it's not it wasn't like a, a, a shock for me so it didn't all go to my head I was used to you know we always were on tour and on the road and and used to people being around so yeah a question from your fans uh, define love I think it's someone that is always there to listen, and that's the, the thing I think people make the most mistake is they always want to have the answers and are fixers, and I don't I don't like people trying to fix me. I just like people being able to listen. And that's yes. what are you in love with, the moment? with me I... and with life, and everything's great, you know what I mean? There's nothing yes. I can complain about. I'm happy, I'm performing, I'm doing what I love every single day. I have awesome people in my life, so nothing can really go wrong. Message, message for your fans out there. Thank you for bringing me here. I'm super excited, so can't wait to see everybody.